So for this drawing, we're going to be doing a one-to-one -one ratio, um, keeping the figure in proportion. Uh, the drawing that we do, we want to keep it in proportion to the to the reference that we have. So uh, first things we want to transcribe are um, a plumb line. So that that plumb line is going to establish um, the location, the vertical location, and then we'll set horizontal. Um, guidelines to keep the height and then eventually we'll be measuring the width so i use this ruler so that you can see see through it and see what i'm lining uh aligning um what i'm going to choose to align right now is going to be the the ear on the figure's right side and i'm going to use that as my plumb all right so that's going to be my plumb line so i'm going to take that down kind of see where that is right now where it should line up with the foot so I'm gonna bring that over and actually draw it on here and by doing that I get a vertical alignment of everything that will intersect that line right so I'm gonna bring that same uh, idea over here and then I'll draw my figure right next to it at the same proportion right so before I do that the great thing about this ruler also is that I can just use this line as a guide to make sure that I have a, a perfectly parallel, um, uh, a line that is perfectly horizontal to this vertical line at a 90 degree. So um, the next thing I want to bring over, or actually the first thing I want to bring over is a line for the top of the head or where I see the top of the head. All right, that's going to be my first um, landmark or construction line. Right. <clears throat> the next one is going to be the bottom of the rear foot. And I mean, instead of going for the toes, I'm going to go for the, um, actually, I should go for the toes. I'm going to go for the toes. And then I'm going to locate my figure in this space. So now I know where the feet should go. This foot should go somewhere here. If I make a vertical line here, I have enough distance for that figure to exist right next to this other reference. So lining that up, right? Um, and then I guess I'm bringing things over or uh, guidelines over for where I see those major landmarks like the pit of the neck. And I'll be bringing over the belly button Right. The pubis is another major landmark. I'm going to identify it first so that I know what I'm looking at and what this line means. Um, the knee, so maybe at the midsection of this back leg knee, and then that'll also kind of help me figure out where this other knee is. So any lines that I can bring over um, will be useful. So these are my, uh, this is my plumb line, and these are my level lines, right? Uh, I'm not measuring head heights, I'm measuring landmarks, or I'm bringing over um, sections for, or measurements for the landmarks, and not so much um, head heights. Uh, and I'm going to go back through, and I'll get another one for the chin. Um, the elbow. Should be somewhere there. And then the tip of the fingers. Because that's my the highest point. And then now the other foot. And I will bring down these the toes. Since I use the toes on this foot, I'll just carry over the toes. Sometimes I do the ankle, the heel. Or if uh, there's a lot of foreshortening, I might do the um, the ankle um, and the heel if I, all I see is that. All right, so I think at this point, I'm essentially ready to get started. Um, I know that the head will land somewhere here, right? And I'm quickly going to just loosely sketch it in. Chin's going to be here. Neck's going to come down. Shoulders going to go like that. Belt and button is a little bit over. 
So these vertical alignments actually kind of help get me through this gesture a little faster. Kind of like using a, um, a grid, but a little bit better. Cubis, hip. Look at the negative space. So the knee somewhere here, right? I was already making a mistake. There. There. The negative space. So it has something like that. If I carry this line over, it'll tell me where that heel is going to go. Should have actually kept that because it almost lines up with that heel. So if the heel's there and this line feels like that. Take that angle, carry it over, close enough. Angle, carry it over. This might be, need to be a little bit steeper. But first, trying to get the foot in there. Toes, heel. Making simple marks is better than making really complicated ones. Right, so roughly have it laid in. <clears throat> now it's a matter of getting all of these parts to relate to one another. Belly button down to the pubis. Front of the pelvis is at this angle. Want to overlap a little bit. Ignore anything that has to do with specificity. The guideline of where I think the breast might be. If I have one, I might as well get the other one relate to each other. So these forms relate to one another. Front of the rib cage lies right on this. The side. Front of the box, side of the box. The pelvis is actually rotating like this. To front of the box.
I'm always checking my assumptions by using these guidelines. I can add more plumb lines uh, for anything else that might be of good reference. For instance, the um, elbow. See where the elbow lines up? Um, and in this case, it seems like the elbow lines up with the calf, roughly. So might as well put that line in there. So if the calf is somewhere around here, or actually right above the knee, so here. If I extended a vertical line there, that elbow should land somewhere in that spot. See how far I am. It's pretty close. Right, so the process is to double check yourself and then take it to completion. Sure. Okay. You ruined my video. Mm hmm. One thing you want to do before you get too far into the drawing is make sure that your proportions to the width are relative to each other to make sure you don't go too wide. Okay, I'm within the vicinity of that proportion. A little tiny bit wide, but fairly close. Right? So I take the edge of this, take it to that, try to make sure that it's pretty close. Any distance you can do this with. Okay. 